I'm Joe Verretta. Hi. My name is Elliot Morgan. It's the horse to head. Asylum seeking NSA whistleblower and accused espionager Edward Snowden has just been nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize. Say what? What? For the last three weeks, Snowden has been biding his time in an airport transit zone in Moscow, Russia, hoping to land in a country with wide open asylum providing cut alarms. And then, out of the blue, a Swedish professor of sociology drops the nomination in an open letter to the world. Stefan Svalfer is one of the small handful of people in the world who can bestow the prestigious nomination. Champion Snowden because, quote, Edward Snowden has, in a heroic effort at great personal cost, revealed the existence and extent of the surveillance the U.S. government devotes electronic communications worldwide. By putting light on this monitoring program conducted in contravention of national laws and international agreements, Edward Snowden has helped to make the world a little bit better and safer. The nomination may come as a little bit of a surprise to some, but Snowden's nomination falls right in line with the whistleblower nominee trend that has evolved over the past few years. In 2011, Julian Assange was nominated in Norway, and just last year, some Icelanders nominated Bradley Manning. All three of these men sit right on a dividing line, and depending on who you're talking to, they're either, you know, vicious criminals or champions of the people. And that's exactly why Spalfers thinks Snowden is worthy of the award. He essentially sacrificed his comfy existence for the betterment of the people. Now, that might be up for debate to some, but Spalfers went on to say, this example is important because since the Nuremberg trials in 1945 has been clear that the slogan, I was just following orders, is never claimed as an excuse for acts contrary to human rights and freedoms. And he continued with, despite this, it is very rare that individual citizens having the insight of their personal responsibility and courage Edward Snowden has shown in his revelation of the American surveillance program. For this reason, he is a highly affordable candidate. As you guys can tell, these are translated quotes. Yes, Valvers also believes that if Snowden were to take home the prestigious honor, it would help the prize save some face after it went to Barack Obama back in 2009. He called Obama's nomination and win hasty and ill-conceived. <laughs> I remember when he won, I was like, cool, but why? Why did that happen? I don't know. So I asked Wiki and they said it was for his extraordinary efforts to strengthen international diplomacy and cooperation between peoples. And Wiki's never wrong. Nah, yeah, if Snowden's nomination was to make it into later stages of the Nobel Peace Prize, game, then the U.S. would probably push back because, you know, it would result in a bunch of egg on Uncle Sam's face. What do you guys think? Are Snowden's actions representative of those that promote peace and international unity, or is he a secret revealer that is ultimately a detriment to the people? Let us know your thoughts on this matter, internet, in the comment section down below. Like, subscribe, click annotation for more stories. My name's Joe Beretta. My name is Elliot Morgan. Goodbye. Stop it. We, go we gotta go. Goodbye. We have things to do. We can't hang out all day. See you later. You look, stop it. You look good too. Ow. <laughs> <laughs>